uh, in Alguada. And I thought this, uh, <laughs> this carving was pretty cool. They uh, made it like a chair, like almost like a throne. And it's got this like a uh, Taino Indian uh, facing on it. All along the strip here in Pico Piedra, Aguada, they have these benches and things that are painted. It's really neat. We're at Byron Pike Nursery. We're going to get some plants, hopefully. It's been a while since we've been up here. We really enjoyed it the last time. They have a lot of variety that you don't find in some of the other nurseries, so we'll go check it out. Okay, so we just got our haul from Byron Pike and we loaded up the truck. When we come this far, we want to take advantage. So we got some trellis plants, we got some rafis, we got some agave, some bamboo, uh, quite a few, some palm trees. So it should, uh, I mean, our, our farm will eat it up no matter what, but we're always excited to find things that we don't have much of, or, and this has a good, good price for some things that uh, are a little less common in the, in our, on our side of the island. palm. Usually you'll find these up in the mountains. Um, we've had some trouble transplanting them so we found one that was already potted and should take as long as we keep it watered I think so we'll give it a go. So this is kind of a new experience. We're always on the search for sushi places and I had heard of this place but it's just kind of out here in the middle of this field. Um, it's a food truck um, behind a pharmacy here in Añasco, but I've heard good things about it. I heard they're pretty reliable and tasty, so we're going to check it out. <laughs> Here's our avocado relleno de granos and our sushi rolls. Buen provecho! Bats are flying. Do you see the bats even? <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> so we're almost done planting all the plants that we got from Byron Pike. We got a pretty good truckload. Uh, planted bamboo. We have a staging area down by the table. Um, we planted some purple flowers over here, uh, got a new palm, new plumerias, and ex our existing trees, and uh, of course we've got water to them all. As we've learned, you have to have, in Rincon, it doesn't water all the time, so we have a hose where we water them every day until they get established, but they should be good to go. near Peña Blanca. We're gonna go uh, snorkeling. We haven't been here in a long time, but this is kind of on the uh, outskirt side of La Playuela in Aguadilla. And it looks like a beautiful day to go snorkeling. The sky is clear, so the water will be too, probably. So. <laughs> ¿Qué es? 
Multa de qué?
so beautiful today. The water is like turquoise. We're swimming here with turtles and all sorts of cool tropical fish. And look at the staircase, we're not here. So cool, this coast looks almost golden. And then over there, there's little pockets of spots for hanging out on the beach. Just a really special place out here in, in La Playuela, up in the old lighthouse ruins and eventually Borinquen Beach. So we're kind of on the far edge of the site of the, the Aguadilla beaches. Beautiful, these huge coconut palm trees. So Salva La Playuela, this is it. This is a, the beautiful area that we call La Playuela de Aguadilla. We got a tart and a coffee at and they gave us a ticket for our tent which we bought this car uh, from somebody else who obviously put the tent on lots of cars have dark tent here but um, they put all these like little machines on it and tested the tent and um, apparently it's too dark so the front is okay but the sides are and it's even like kind of peeling off already so it's like we could probably take this stuff off ourselves um, so it was kind of weird because he said we have to go to, to the courthouse um, and then if we don't have the tent on or if we have the lighter tent that they will throw out the ticket and he has to like inspect it so that's gonna be a whole new thing so stay tuned for our uh, next adventures in dealing with the bureaucracy of Puerto Rico <laughs>